Hello, Alex here from London Tire Builders, the code ATK. I make a video to show you how to use this Android Universal Manual Tire Builder. I'm going to start with the keyboard first and I'll work my way up the Tire Builder. So this keyboard is actually a regular QWERTY layout keyboard and this means that there is no number one on this keyboard and that's because we use lowercase l for that. So whenever I press L, it will resemble kind of like a number one. And that is fairly common with a lot of these servers that they won't have an actual key that has number one on it. You also have the shift keys here. This allows you to print capitals. So if I want to type my name, for example, I can engage the shift key and type away. Another button here is the shift lock. So for example, if you want to type all capitals without actually pressing on the shift keys, then you can do that. So I'm going to engage the shift lock here and then I can type my name in all caps. The button here is the backspace. So for example, if you want to go back one space, then you can press on this button. So for example, if I press uh, O and it doesn't print properly, then I can go back and re I can retype the same letter, but it will be much bolder this time. Or if you want to go back and I can cross it over with an X, on this side of the keyboard, you will see a couple of levers. This lever here is for the color of the ribbon switch. So a lot of the tie will allow you to have different colors of the ribbon. For example, the classic black and red ribbon. So this will let you switch between the two colors. You might notice that there is a white dot and the white dot is for stencils. So if I engage the, if I engage the lever and I push it down all the way down to stencils, then the typewriter won't be actually printing on the paper. So I'll engage it to red, for example. The other thing here is the touch tuning uh, control lever. And this controls the amount of pressure you have on the actual keys. So for example, at the moment it's on low, so whenever I press a key, I can feel quite light pressure. But if I switch it all the way down to high, then I will feel slightly more pressure against the keys whenever I'm typing. The button here is for the margin release, but I'm gonna get to that in a bit. Now we'll go through the ribbon mechanism of this typewriter. I'm going to lift up this top cover, and now we will see the actual spools that have the ribbon. So you will see there is a spool here and the spool here. Every time you press a key, the spools are rotating, and this means that you're typing on a new piece of ribbon in the ribbon vibrator every time you press a key. So when I lift the typewriter up, you might see that there is a lot of ribbon on this pool, and there is no ribbon on this pool. And what's happening now is that the ribbon is being pulled from this side to this side. Now, the idea is that we will be able to constantly change the direction of the ribbon until the ribbon is actually dry. So the way it is done automatically by the typewriter is that when the, there is no ribbon on this side, then this arm will engage. So there's going to be pressure on this arm. So for example, if I continue typing, so now that the typewriter will automatically reverse the direction of the ribbon. So now the ribbon is being pulled from this side to that side. On the right side of the typewriter, is that there's actually a lever here. This is the manual switch for the direction of the ribbon. So if I push it, the direction of the ribbon will now be reversed. So now the ribbon will be traveling from this pool to this pool. Now I'm going to go through the levers and functions on the actual carriage. The carriage is this part. So whenever I press a key, it advances. I'm going to show you how to feed the paper through. Let me just get some scrap paper here. So we want to make sure that the paper is all the way down. And then we'll use one of these knobs, either this one or this one here, to feed the paper through. We want to make sure the paper goes under this paper bale. Now, if the paper is slightly wonky, then it's fine because you can engage the paper release lever, this lever here. This will release the paper and then you can manually adjust it to the way you want it to be. You can also pull out the whole piece of paper So I'm going to feed the paper through. 
And I'm going to demonstrate the line spacing feature that is also on this side of the carriage. So for example, now whenever I press one of the keys, I can use this lever here, that is the carriage return lever, to push the paper up and follow through the whole, fun uh, the whole motion. This allows me to begin at the same point um, that I started the previous line on. And you can actually adjust the amount of spacing you can have between each line. And this can be done by adjusting this lever here. So if I push it down, now there's going to be much more spacing between each line. So you can see the spacing that we had previously was smaller, whereas now it's much larger. I'm going to adjust it back to regular spacing. The lever here is actually the carriage release lever. So whenever you engage this lever here, this allows the carriage to slide freely to the left. This uh, lever here is actually mirrored on this side as well. So if you want to use either of them, then it should be fine. I will show you the margin mechanism as well. So if we push this plate up, you will see, let me just move it all the way. You will see these tabs. So there's a tab here and there's a tab here. And this basically indicates where you begin and where you end the line. So this is your, this is your left margin. So for example, if you adjust it to 20 and we adjust the, this margin all the way down to 50, for example, and then the tabulator will let us type only in this space. I will demonstrate it to you by feeding some paper through, and then we'll see the margins. So now the margin will let us start at 20. And whenever we approach the, the right margin, you will hear a bell. And the bell is basically a warning saying that you're close to the end of the line. Now, when we approach the actual end of the line, the timer will stop typing. So now you can see I'm pressing a key, it's not actually advancing. There is a button here, the margin release lever. And what it does, it releases the margin on the right side. So when I push on it, the timer will, the timer will, will um, let you type um, on the right side. As you can see, instead of actually stopping, the timer will continue typing, even though we set the margin on the right side. The last function I'd like to go over is the carriage lock. The carriage lock is this metallic bit here, and it locks into carriage whenever you want to go out with the typewriter, or if, for example, if you're shipping the typewriter. So when I lift up this lever here, and I slide the carriage, all the way to the left, it will lock into place. So now it's locked. So even when I'm engaging the carriage release lever, it won't be sliding to the left. And for example, when I am pressing the space bar here, it won't be, the tirewriter won't be advancing. And this is the right way we want it to be. Because for example, when you're shipping a tirewriter, then you want to make sure the carriage is secured. So I think that's about it for this Underworld Universal tirewriter. If you have any questions, just let me know. It was Alex from London Tarbiters, the Curry and see you next time.